In this video, I'm going to be doing these money inspired nails. So if you're interested to see how I did these nails, then keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing my nails again and I'm just basically going to be doing like these money nails that I kind of had an idea for. So as always, I'm starting off with prep. I'm pushing back my cuticles using my cuticle pusher. And then I'm going in with my McCart JD700 e-file and I'm just using this flame diamond drill bit to just clean up my cuticles. I don't do this too thoroughly because they already are kind of cleaned from all these sets I do so I do have to be quite gentle with this. Next you want to remove the dust. And I'm going to be using the Glow Tips uh, Poly Gel System today, which is a really amazing brand. If you don't know about them, I will have all their products linked in the description box down below. And I will also have a discount code for them. I don't have it just yet, but I will be linking that down below in the future. So do keep your eyes peeled for that. I did apply their base coat and I'm curing that. And once that's done, I'm basically sizing up my tips. These are the XXL nail tips from Amazon, which I absolutely love. And to put these tips on, I always like to use some base coat. So all I do is put some base coat in the well of the tip, not too much. I will have my big LED light preset on the side to 60 seconds. I will place the nail on my nail and then I'll just go in and cure and that's how I find um, the easiest way for, it is for me to do. So again, base coat in the well of the nail, preset your lamp on the side, put the tip on and then cure. Now I'm just taking down the length. I really wanted to to do a really nice long length for this so I'm not taking down way too much just a little bit to kind of get rid of the number that's on like the tip of the nail I guess just about that much and I was really happy with the length today then as usual I'm gonna be taking away the shine this really helps your poly jar to stick onto the nail really really well so I am using my barrel bit again from the cart it's really really amazing and i'm just using this to blend the tip and remove the shine of the tip i'm then going in with some base coat this bit is optional you don't have to do this but i just like to do it After curing that for 60 seconds, I'm going in with the Glow Tips Clear Poly Gel today and I'm basically going to be doing this as my base for all my nails. So yeah, here we go. So I'm just basically doing a good amount on my nail and I'm using their base coat as their slip. The kit that I did a review on, by the way, I will link down below, did come with a full size bottle of slip solution which I do really like and it works amazing. I just couldn't find it for this video, so I ended up using their base coat. But if you wish to use slip solution, that's also great. Um, I just prefer to use base coat because I find that I can have a smoother finish, which reduces my filing time. So I'm just applying that to all my nails, making sure I'm building my structure as well. I'm then going in with the same drill bit and e-file and I'm just basically filing my nails. For my filing routine, I just move over the surface and do a bit of reshaping with the e-file and then I'll go in and enhance my shape with a hand file. So that's pretty much all I'm doing in this section here. And it's pretty easy, especially when um, you try to get your poly gel application as smooth as possible, which is another reason why I like to use the base coat.
Okay, so finally we can get on to the actual nail design and I'm really excited to use these nail decals from this brand who kindly reached out to me and said that they wanted me to try out their nail decals. So here it is. I really, really like them. By the way, just a little spoiler alert, they were really amazing. As you saw from the thumbnail, these looked so, so good. So these are nail decals. They're basically like these um, stickers almost, but they don't actually have like a sticky kind of peelable thing to them. You kind of have to submerge them in water and they kind of peel off that way. So what I'm doing is I've made sure that I've sized up every single nail and then I'm going to cut them up into individual strips. Try to be careful with this, try not to cut into the design and she has also printed them well enough so that you do have that space because I have used some decals before where they've been so close together that I've had to cut into the design which is super annoying but these don't. So with most decals you want to start off with a white base and um, this helps the decal to pop and be like more opaque I guess so I'm doing a coat of the gelish I believe white and I didn't bother going in with two coats because one coat should usually just do it fine and what you want to do is place a strip of the decal in water and as you can see it kind of curls up and then eventually it kind of opens up and you'll see that the decal has kind of detached from the backing you want to gently pull this off like I am now and then <clears throat> this is like personal preference but I like to kind of dab off the extra water and then I stick it on the nail now with these I found that I had to um, like hold them a little bit longer to like adhere to my nail I think it had to do with my nail being long um, so yeah just bear that in mind I kind of like had to hold it down a little bit so that it kind of dries down to like the shape of my nail if that makes sense and then it stays that way and once I did that I just cut off the excess and this is pretty much it it was like super easy to do um yeah so I'm just going to show you in a bit more detail so again <clears throat> get your strip put it in water it's going to curl up a little bit and then it will just open up it should open up any second there we go it's starting to open up a bit and then you kind of see that it's kind of peeling away from the backing. There you go. Gently slide it off. If you feel it's not ready, just leave it a little longer. And I am using cold water. It's like no fancy water or solution or anything. Then I'm just going to dab the excess water off on some paper towel that I have here. And just be really gentle with this. Just in case like you rip it or anything. The color didn't like dissolve or anything like everything was great it was everything was intact and then just go about placing it on your nail roughly where you want the design and try to have like the rounded edge um to kind of match your cuticle area that's why it's there so it helps you kind of create that easy rounded cuticle area so kind of try to match that there and then as you can see i'm like holding it down like that literally for like about a couple seconds and it kind of dries down to the shape of your nail so you just have to hold that a little bit and then as you can see it's already starting to stick to the nail and once that's kind of like stuck you can start to smooth that out and of course trim the excess off so if you have short nails I feel like this will be really great to use multiple times because you could essentially cut this one piece in half in the middle and use each end as like for a, a different nail so i feel like you can get like double the use out of this if you have short nails which is great um but i really thought that this would look amazing with long nails and it did so i was really happy i tried this out and again be really careful to trim around the edges you can also pre-trim like pre-cut the decal um, in the shape it is to probably be probably be easier um but i didn't do that so a little trick i dipped my finger in water and i've kind of smoothed out um the decal because i feel like it just kind of dissolves right like into the nail like right to where you put it so that's a little tip um if you find that it's lifting in some areas just dip your finger in the water and it will like 
almost re-soften up and like seep into like the areas you want it to stay in and then it will dry down like that so very very nice <laughs> so far and i'm basically repeating this to the rest of the nails wiping wiping away that extra water and let me know down in the comment section below if you want me to like do more of these decal nails i thought it was really fun to do um yeah it was just really fun and easy to do definitely a good change from gel polish or like any hand drawn nail art that i've been doing so yeah this was definitely really different and fun so then again also using my thumb when it's dry by the way i smooth it out you don't try not to like touch it too much when it's wet just try to hold it down um <clears throat> like to the shape of your nail try not to like rub it too much when it's that wet and when it kind of sticks to the nail then it's like drying up more and then you can like rub it more to get rid of those air bubbles and that's basically what i've done and as you can see it's super simple just trim off the excess although it will probably be easier to like pre-cut this but i wasn't sure if it was going to fit my nail that well so um yeah that's just how i did it and it worked out fine either way so now i'm just going in with gold flakes i believe these gold flakes are from like a vetsy poly gel kit i will link that down below if i can if not i'm sure you can find this anywhere amazon aliexpress ebay <clears throat> and i'm just using my silicone end of my cuticle oil because i could not find anything else at this time and that's pretty much it i'm then doing top coat to finish them off i am using the glow tips top coat which is really really good by the way it's like got this really nice thick consistency and it kind of just smooths anything out so yeah i just really like this top coat it feels like a really nice high-end top coat so if you haven't checked out glow tips yet i will link them down below and like i said i will have a discount code coming soon for them so if you are thinking of buying then stay tuned for that and i did cure these for 60 seconds I thought of making these even more extra and adding some cuticle crystals just for a little bit more bling. I don't know, I just felt like this was already like money nails so I should make it a little bit extra. I don't know, it's just how I was thinking about it at the time. So I'm doing some simple cuticle crystals but I just feel like this just added a lot to the design. Like it was so simple but blingy, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below was like adding the crystals a good idea i'm not sure but i feel like i really really liked it in the end so i'm doing um i did some base coat near the cuticle area and it's still wet and i'm applying my crystals and these crystals i believe are from mccart yeah these are from mccart from the poly gel kit i did a review on i will link that down below as well and i'm basically placing those where i want i'm using my wax pencil that i got from my crystal set which is really good if you don't have a wax pencil you need to invest in one because it makes your life so much easier so that's me basically finishing off the design right there And of course, I'm going to be finishing off with some cuticle oil. You can't not finish with cuticle oil after doing such a long set. <laughs> so add your cuticle oil and massage that in well and let it sit there for a while. And that is pretty much it for this look. I really want to say a big thank you to everyone who liked and comment on my last couple of videos. I really appreciate you guys. Let me know down below what you think of these now. I absolutely love them a lot so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>